What's up guys, this is Metroraptor, also known as Luxatus Patella, and this is part 5 of my Croc 2 walkthrough series. Last time, I conquered the first two levels of this world, and I'm gonna do the rest of them. But before that, I need to get more stuff. And we got 5 out of 7 lives for some reason, but whatever. Um, how can you be with my assistance? Well, I need to get one thing, really. It's a blue booster. That's everything I need for this episode. So... It seems like, why do we need so little items? Well, you're gonna see soon, because two of the levels are actually unique in their own way in the game. But first we're gonna do what I like to call the train level. It's really easy, you gotta follow a train and switch its tracks before it gets kaboom. And there are gobbles in it, so it's very important. Train gone. What happened to the train gobble? Dantini's still train with gobbles on board, must save them. Track's not finished. Must throw switch. Oh yeah, these last three words, words, sorry, must throw switch, really, those are important. You'll see soon at the end of the level. I mean, holy freaking crap. If you don't remember those three words, you're doomed. You can play the whole level over again. I'm gonna explain later though. Um, yeah. You see this? This is where we need the blue booster. That's the only item we're gonna use. I think... But I'm not sure, I actually tried to glitch this once, back in my childhood. I think I actually managed to do that. But, um... That was a long time ago, and I had too much time. But whatever. We're gonna get some more crystals. Because we need crystals. So this level is actually one more linear level. Like, uh, it's not an open world, multiple paths, whatever. No, it's actually really easy, um, straightforward level. You see the train, don't let it taunt you, it's not like it's a race, you can still like take your sweetheart time to do this. Anyways, another one of these thumpers, and yep, like in the first build you can just walk when they're, once they actually are down, it's a little bit more, a little bit tricky though, but it's still, it's still manageable to do it. Uh, I still don't get it why they actually let that pass in the game, but whatever. Maybe standards were a little bit lower then than they are now. Then again, if you see if the games that are being produced today, I'm not really happy either. Okay, so they're gonna. <laughs> there's a lot of these stupid platforms and there were like dantinis all over the place. So you need to jump a little bit more careful. So that's why I love the camera alignment. This is one of the, I think, two or three cliff segments. Like you see, like you saw these rocks falling. So you probably think, oh, they're gonna fall every two seconds and you need to wait until the right time, then you can jump over them. No, I can just jump over them already, like in the fluent run. I don't know why. Maybe it's because, um, I don't know, maybe the timing is a little bit effed up in my game, but I'm just gonna take it for what it is. I'm not gonna complain. Also, ice. Holy crap. This ice in this game is so annoying because you can really go for it. I explained it already in, during the introduction of the second world, but holy shit, just look at it. You can like go miles and miles of just, you know, gliding with the ice. And the controls are absolutely, well, not terrible, but like. Ugh. See, I almost did not, whoa, whoa, I almost did not make that jump. That was actually scary. That was not supposed to happen, by the way. I'm glad I did not die, like in the last part. Holy crap, I still have nightmares about that. <laughs> okay. So is this crystal number three? Yeah, this is crystal number three. And I know where the other two are. The last one is pretty interesting. It took me a little while to figure it out when I was a kid, but you're gonna see soon what was the uh, solution. So, is there anything interesting about this level so far? There are a couple of things. I'm gonna explain soon. Like, there are a couple of scenarios which you haven't seen before uh, in levels of Croc 2, which are like, unique. This is one of them. You see two boxes stacked on each other. What's the point? You know, like, there are boxes scattered everywhere. Why do they need to do two boxes on each other? This is the reason. You need to stomp on it with maximum jumping power. Then you can actually get the heart. 
So, that was a little bit sneaky. It's well fought. I mean, it works. It's a little bit sneaky, though. But whatever, I'm gonna take it for it is. Camera alignment. They can shoot over boxes, too. That's that's amazing. So, whoa! Whoa, the controls are really fucking slippery in here. Like, I don't know what it is, but it's like, with the Dantinis, like, they got their own box. And when you want to kill them, and, you know, like, when you kill them, you see that their eyes are the only thing that remain. I think the box still exists, so you get pushed out of the box where the Dantini stood. And then this combined with ice, it's uh, not a really happy thought. Like, I almost died twice already. Like, crap. See, look at this. I got, I got just got launched at that ice, sort of, you know? so to speak. So I'm not gonna go through the trouble of actually fighting this Dante. I'm like, you know, I just wanna get my crystals and get the hell out of here. Okay, uh, clockwork gobble plate? Nope, don't use it. It only has 16 crystals and a heart. And since I have full life, I think, and since I don't really care about 16 crystals, you know, it's a waste of money for crystals, whatever. Okay, another cliff segment. Again, really easy, just jump whenever you see a gap, don't wait, just go on one fluid run. Seems to work out fine for me. Okay. I always thought, well, if you could actually outrun the train, but I don't think you could actually do that. Like, I don't think it's really possible. I'm not doing bad here, I don't think I can go any faster, but I don't think you can outrun the train. I was a little bit sad. Like, as a kid, you want to experiment everything. Okay. I can see the fourth crystal already. Okay, so now we have these guys. I don't think you will see them a lot in the game. And I don't think if you can actually kill them. I actually never tried to kill them because, well, their pattern isn't really that bad. Like, if you stand in the middle, they won't really hurt you. So, I don't really have a problem with them. Uh, that box, should I get it, should I not get it? I like to take, oh, I just want to say I like to take a risk, but, uh, maybe I do not like him. Okay, you probably think, just jump over here, Croc. Okay, I'm gonna do it. It worked out fine. I was a little bit scared to do this, actually. I did not do this in my practice run, but <laughs> I like to take a little risk. Okay, just, just take it easy, Croc. Take, take, take it easy. Jump. I actually died in this part during my practice run. I don't know why. I guess the jump was a little bit effed up. Okay. There's the train. I don't give two shits. Ooh, 7 out of 7. I thought I had full life, but... Oh yeah, I just got hit by that other thing. And now I just got hit by the Dantini. I'm doing a, a horrible job in here. <laughs> okay, this, this is the last crystal. It's caged in. You need to stomp over here. Like the first time I was like, you can't do that. Those are the tracks. No, this is not the tracks. So I was a little bit stunned when you can actually do this. And there's a key and there's another box. So yippee yippee yay. We can get ourselves the fifth crystal. But still we need to do an obstacle course. And this obstacle course, of course, has ice. Uh, I hope I do not fuck up. See, there's the gobble. I can already see it. There are three Dantinis in my way. I need to be very freaking careful and just take my time. There's no time limit, I think. Okay, shoot and go for it. Stop and punch. See? Whoa! Whoa! Like, holy f... You see that? That's just the Dantinis hitbox thingy. You see? See? Okay, fuck it. I don't really care if I get hit. Holy crap, I still got it. Oh, no, seriously. I don't know what's up with that. Somebody needs to figure out. That's the only thing I want to do. Okay, hit the switch, hit the switch, hit the switch, hit the switch. If you do not hit the switch within two seconds, you're fucked up the level and you need to do it all over again. They don't give you any explanation. Just hit that switch. I mean, seriously. Dantini is also naughty. Ew. Uh, I cannot express this enough. Hit that switch. I haven't um, 
that's the thing. I haven't got time to... I don't know how the entire room looks like. I only know that switch. That switch is like burnt in my retina. And the only thing I can think of when I see that switch is just to hit it as fast as possible. I mean, seriously. Oh. I really remember, like... Oh, I was one millisecond too late and I fucked it up. Now, you're probably thinking, what the fuck? There's a balloon and a giant hole? Flavio the thermal fish is trying to heat up the village. Everything will melt. But what, what's wrong with melting? Oh, it's because of the snowman, I think. Okay, sure, sure, sure. You probably think this is a boss battle. Yep, it's a boss battle. We're not going to do it right now. I just wanted to show you and explain why there is a giant pit with a balloon in there. Because otherwise I'll get, question I'll, I'll get some questions in the comments. Like, hey, did you not see that balloon over there? I'm like, yeah, I did. But I didn't want to tell you. See, now I'm going to tell you anyways. Um, I need to think for two seconds. Yeah, okay. We're going to do this one. The snowman contest. We need to roll the snowman's head to its body. This has to be one of the most frustrating levels in the entire game. Because, well, you just see it, right? You just see... Can you see what we need to do here? I think you can. And I think you're like, holy crap, if the ice level had this kind of fucked up controls, what about this level? Well, it's not so bad in here. I'm gonna be honest, it's not so bad. It's just that um, the way you accelerate, <laughs> you can go really fast with this, with this uh, snowman's head. It's just not really recommended to do that. Uh, anyways, for this level, you don't need any items. Just to say. Dantini's just squish him. Couldn't be any easier. Foxes, just ram into them. Couldn't be any easier. Crystals, you can just get them. Couldn't be any easier. Unless when they do this stupid little narrow platforming with giant pits. Because, well, that makes it a little bit harder save files just jump you can actually jump it's pretty cool okay there are alternate paths in here it's a little bit annoying but we need to take them if you want to get your hundred percent score yeah don't explain to me what those things are i'm just gonna say that they are like dantinis or it looks like a santa really like the legs are like just like santa claus i think it's not really like a Dantini, I think, but whatever. Okay, I'm, yeah, you see I'm taking my sweet ass time for this, but it, it has a reason. Okay, third crystal. The question is, am I gonna go for 100 crystals? It will be a nice challenge, I'm gonna say, but I think I'm gonna die then. Still, I want to do it. You can actually take a shortcut, like you could just kind of fall to the left or to the right and actually go and land on the platform below you. I actually tried that a couple of times, but it didn't really work out the way I wanted it to. So I'm just going to take... I'm just going to follow my strategy and take the long ass run for it. Uh, the yeah, that, yeah, that was like a little uphill and then it's like a little downhill. It's like, there's some stuff going on. Give me that crystal. And now we're going to take our sweet ass time. Don't rush. No, just, just wait. Just wait, because otherwise you'll get hit. It's a beginner's trap again. Oh yeah, I'm gonna take... Can I? No, I'm actually stuck. I could not take the upper path. Okay, this is annoying, this is annoying, this is annoying. Give me that crystals. Uh, it seems that like I have limited uh, room to where I want to go somehow. Fourth crystal It's good. Now I need to take the other way back, I think, or was that useless? That was actually, well, not useless, but <laughs> there was no box or anything, so. And, whee! yeah, this is one part you can actually accelerate. There's no problem, except for this, of course. Like, they want to make you do a fucking turn while you're going 50 miles per hour with the snowman's head. <laughs> okay, so we did another safe state. That's good, that's very good. Yeah, normally in my practice run, I would just not give two shits about these crystals, but I'm gonna do it anyway. 
if I do not die during this run, I will be pretty proud of myself because uh, of all the levels that I like worry the most. This is one of them. This is like the level that really worries me the most. Oh, I guess I just fucked up. Uh, uh, I'm not proud of myself anymore. Nah, you know, whatever. You know, it's just if you want to get yourself 100 crystals, you gotta sacrifice a little bit. And because, and if you get 100 crystals, like you all know, you get full health again. So I think in the long run, it is worth it to die a little bit here and there. It's just because the second world is very annoying when it comes to do to its levels arrangement it is really annoying okay crystal number five now you probably think where the hell is the gabo and is there any obstacle course no there's no obstacle course and no the gabo is not here it's all the way at the end and there's not and it's not like you, there's like some sort of time limit you need to get there no it's just you need to get there that's all that's your that's your primitive uh, instinct just to get there you need to get there your objective is just to get there again just wait for those dudes to pass by otherwise you will lose the health easy set and here there are three dudes having fun <laughs> bye Santa I'll see you next time all right I actually missed the box yep I missed the box I um, Yahoo! Eh, still I got the gobbo that's the most important thing yeah <laughs> oh, uh. I still got the gobbo so I'm still happy look at that we almost got 700 that's a lot of money for me at least <laughs> gobbo's trapped in high cliffs gobbo's not able to get up there Maybe, uh, maybe Kraken up there. Use strange air glider left by mysterious gobble with big glasses. Hmm, I wonder who that could be. Anyways, this level is very short but very, very fun. You need to save seven gobbles. It couldn't be any easier. You can steer with left and right, and because it's like a flying segment, if you push up, you will go down. For flying games, this is standard. And there are five crystals, uh, color crystals scattered everywhere. And there are also like uh, these uh, circlet uh, crystals. Uh, you don't need to get into the middle, just if you touch them with your feet, it's good enough. Okay, now we need to go down, get that crystal. Phew. I always thought these like, um, I always thought these things were like tornadoes, so I thought you need to avoid them. But no, you can actually get up them to get yourself a little bit more air. I was so shocked the first time I actually um, figured that out. So you're probably thinking, how the hell did you actually complete that level? Well, you don't actually need to go to the uh, uh, tornadoes, I think, to complete the level. I'm not really sure though, but I think you don't really need to do that. Anyways, you can see the landing strip already. It's a very short level, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna uh, lie. But, there's one little catch. You still need to get that freaking gobbo, and it's all the way at the end of the landing strip. So I must not fuck up. There we go, I did not fuck up. I'm happy. And I got 100 and 100 crystals. Nice. Thank you, Croc. Not a problem. So, it seems that we have all goblin gobos in here we got uh, 10 if i'm correct so the next objective is to go to that balloon and fight that fish that wants to melt everything but that'll be for part six like and favorite this video if you like the content uh, you can also comment of course subscribe to our channel rate you free for more upcoming videos and i'll see you next time peace we could actually be over this uh, level pretty quickly, but we're not going to, I guess. We. I had to face palm real hard to myself right now. My first death, unintended. That was really horrible.